Hello buddy, my name is Jason, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be covering my one down build, something that's been requested for quite a while actually. So, let's get right into it, no messing around. So, I'm going to start with my weapons. I use a crossbow, a light crossbow with the poison bolts. And I also have a concealment boost on it. You may wonder why I use poison bolts, because you see it only does 100 damage. The thing is... Poison ticks for I believe about 10 ticks and it does about 300 damage a tick So whenever you hit something you're doing about 3,000 damage Granted it does take it over time, but it also stuns things like cloakers and tasers. So it's extremely useful And I find this is probably one of the best crossbows in the game to use right now I know a lot of people were using the heavy but I think honestly light crossbow poison is extremely powerful and this is after the patch, Poison has not been nerfed. It's the only crossbow thing to stay overpowered after the patch. So, if you want to get a nice strong weapon, definitely pick this thing up. Next, I use the China Puff Grenade Launcher. So, uh, this skin doesn't really do anything, it just makes it look a little bit nicer. So, I don't have any uh, fire rounds, I keep the default. I have Concealment Boost again. And I have a riot stock on it, just to give me extra concealment for the skills that you'll see in a minute. So this China Puff is basically for clearing out big groups of shields. And you know, anything where like there's loads of enemies clumped together, I just blow them up. And if there's any single targets I need to remove, I'll use the crossbow. And the great thing about this build is it has basically infinite ammo. The crossbow, you can pick up the bolts again, even if you hit an enemy with it. And the China Puff, you should kill enough guys with your crossbow and with the China Puff that you'll remain ammo neutral all the time. The melee I use is the kunai knife. Uh, you may wonder why I'm not using the buzzer. I'm using the kunai knife because it has the same poison thing. So it does 30 damage on hit and then 300 damage on a poison. So if you keep stamming something, you can kill it very quickly with the kunai. Far faster than if you use something like the buzzer. Melee, I use the shurikens. Again, it has poison ticks. So uh, you can just throw them, you've got a lot of them, and they do insane poison damage. Um, so my equipment is the Doctor Bag. And I use the two-piece suit with the Rogue Perk deck to get myself some nice dodge. You see here, 55 dodge. That is crazy. 55 dodge is insane, and that goes up to 65 while I'm sprinting. That's such a high chance. So in the Mastermind skill tree, I have Combat Medic Basic. It's not worth acing. On one down, that 30% health will go away in less than one shot, so it's not even worth it. I have Quick Fix Ace. You may wonder why I don't take Painkillers Ace. The reasoning is because the less damage is nice, but the main thing is deploying your first aid kit and Doctor Bags 50% faster. A lot of times, when you go down for the fourth time, you'll need to drop a Medic Bag quickly. And since you are on grey, you'll need it immediately. So being able to drop it in a second as opposed to like two, it's extremely important. Combat Doctor Ace to get myself those medic bags and Inspire Ace. You should basically have Inspire Ace and Combat Doctor Ace regardless of what build you're running. One down, you're going to go down a lot of times, so make sure you have the Combat Doctor and Inspire. Controller, I have Force Friendship Basic just to get, get myself up the tiers. Confident Basic just to get, again get myself up the tiers. So, next I have Stockholm Syndrome, so this allows me to get out of custody if I die, and it's extremely useful because on certain maps you will die, like you just go down far too many times, so being able to die, go down and come back out of custody, you get all your ammo back, all your downs back, and it's really good, you get to use it once per heist, but honestly you don't need to use it more than that. And I don't do anything in Sharpshooter. In Enforcer, I skip the Shotgunner Tree. And in Tank, I have Resilience Ace because flashbangs are awful. And having extra armor recovery rate is amazing. Because once your armor goes down, you will just die in about two hits. So you want to get it back up as quickly as possible to tank that bullet. Because if people don't know, with the exception of the snipers, everything else that will shoot you, the first bullet, if it goes through all of your dodge and hits your armor, even though you only have 20 armor, it will basically act like an infinite number. So if you take 500 damage in one bullet, it will absorb all 500 damage. You won't take any health damage unless a sniper shoots you. So you want to get your armor back as quickly as possible because that is basically one guaranteed free bullet. As long as it's up. So transport a basic just to get myself further up. Throwing bags is nice. Some maps you have to lob loads of bags around. Shock and all basic for the same reason I took resilience. 
getting the armor recovery rate is really important in a dodge build and increasing it for your crew is again a very nice thing scavenger uh this was just like a throwaway point i honestly could have put this anywhere but i just decided to toss it here technician again another throwaway point hardware expert basic I just generally like the idea of fixing drills and saws faster. You go from 10 seconds to 7.5. And on, since a lot of maps do have drills, being able to fix it slightly faster is, again, very important. Because if you have to stand still, the odds are you're going to die. Especially with a dodge build. Ghost. So, we have Duck and Cover Ace. Get us the extra dodge chance and the extra sprinting. Inner Pockets Basic to get our concealment a little bit higher. And Parkour Basic. Parkour basic to give us that extra movement speed. We have shockproof aced because tasers are the worst thing ever. And sneaky bastard aced because we need that extra dodge chance. What I'm going to talk about very quickly is the tips and tricks of one down. Things that I have managed to pick up. So what I've managed to learn and what people may not know is that the headshot multiplier is times three. So if you hit something in the head you will do three times the damage. Aim for the head. Pretty much most enemies have armor, which means any gun that doesn't pierce armor or doesn't have the skill from technician, surefire, aced, if you shoot them in the de in the chest, you're basically not going to do any damage most of the time. So you want to aim for the head. Your bullets are going to do three times as much and it takes three times less damage to kill them. So in, put that in perspective, you need to deal about 360-ish damage to them as opposed to 1,100 something. So, weapons that I would advise for one down is things that do insane damage. So, honestly, 40 damage assault rifles, all of this can just get tossed out the window. DMR kits, don't even think about it. If you don't have enough ammo to be like one, two shotting, it's not even worth having the gun. So, get rid of all this junk. This clarion, car, basically the whole assault rifle page can just be disregarded all of this you don't need any of this this is all unusable trash the only thing that you could potentially use is the m308 because it does a nice amount of damage as i said times three so if your bullets are doing around about three ish 300 ish damage your one shot headshot so and that doesn't count cloakers and Dozers, I believe dozers have a times six headshot multiplier and cloakers have a times five. Someone correct me on that. So, you know, your damage needs to be a lot less for them. So, yeah, the M308 is very good. You can basically two shot headshot, one shot headshot things. The next other thing you can maybe use is something like a Eagle Heavy Rifle or a Falcon. Maybe. I haven't tested these things out. I don't think they'll be useful, honestly, but, you know, maybe there's a place for them with crits. Generally, if the gun doesn't do a lot of damage, it needs to have crits on it. Uh, akimbos, all of these are completely useless, except for the deagles. Maybe you could get the Krinkovs to work, like tap firing, but honestly, the deagles are just your best bet. Shotguns, don't even try. Trash, 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 you just ignore all of it. The only one you can maybe get to work is the Raven, because it does a high amount of damage. You know, maybe you could fit the breaker, but it just doesn't have enough ammo. So maybe with ammo bags, you could get the breaker to work. But honestly, with the Raven, you can get it crit. You can get all your shotgun skills. It has a good magazine. I think this is the ideal shotgun. Specials, the grenade launcher, obviously. You could use both, but ideally the GL40 is better. Minigun is garbage. The crossbows are, of course, wonderful. I would not advise bringing the English longbow, though. But you could if you wished, or the heavy crossbow. Flamethrower is something that people, I think, overlook. Now, again, it does 14 damage on hit, which is nothing. But the thing is, fire has also been buffed to do about 100 damage-ish a tick. So, if you burn someone for long enough, you know, in 10 ticks of the fire, they're basically dead. So maybe, you know, you could work it out. But the way you'd want to work it is that you'd want, um, what was it? Yeah. The way you want to work it is that you get the um, well or the rare. So because you want more ammo because the damage you're doing from the flamethrower isn't relevant. So you want to actually do as much damage as possible through the fire rather than the actual um, spraying of the flamethrower. Sniper rifles. Um, yeah, let's just ignore all of these. Let's pretend none of these exist. 
The only one that even sees use is the Thanatos because it has enough power to one shot everything uh, in the body except for some specials and you can one shot headshot pretty much most things. You can three shot headshot a Doja with this. You don't even need Silent Killer on it, that's the thing. With Silent Killer, I think you could probably one shot headshot. You could one shot everything because you'll do a, like 4,000 damage. LMGs. I wouldn't even bother with these, honestly, they're kind of useless. Maybe, I've heard uh, rumors about using something like, you know, a KSP in conjunction with body expertise and panic, you know, maybe you could work something there, but I wouldn't really try. Secondaries, let's cover them one by one. So, SMGs are, you know, I shouldn't have to say this, they're bad, you don't want to use them, you know. The high damage SMGs do have a place, you know, if you can get Silent Killer, maybe some crits on there, you can do enough damage if you hit them in the head, but you remember, yeah, they don't have a lot of ammo, you're gonna have to be ammo neutral with these things. Or you're gonna have to try and, you know, save bullets when you can. Pistols, um, don't try using anything that's not a high damage pistol, so the Bronco is your friend here, because you can get it on crits easily. The White Streak and the Baby Deagle. The Mateva, it doesn't have enough concealment to be worth the Bronco, it's just a bad gun in general. And the Peacemaker, we don't talk about the Peacemaker, it's bad. Just forget it. And the medium damage pistols, don't even bother. Even with Trigger Happy, the pistols aren't even that good themselves. Specials, uh, shotguns, now I've heard a lot of things about shotguns, people are saying they're very effective. What I found is the Judge is King, as always. I mean, it does 160 damage without any shotgun skills when, you know, the rest of them are doing like 40, which, you know, because balance is in the game, apparently. Overkill test their things, guys, we promise. So, you know, you, know, you could use the judge. I've heard things about people using the street sweeper with crits. Honestly, I don't see how the fuck you do that. But, you know, maybe there's a way that this works. You know, maybe you could fit a locomotive, but from my opinion, only use the judge. Ignore the rest. Specials, um, now, well, pistol crossbow, you can stick poison in this thing, and it's basically the same as a light crossbow, but honestly, I don't see why you want to do that, because, you know, you get 30 concealment, and then you also get your better grenade launcher, the GL40 is strictly worse than a China puff, except in fact concealment, and crits don't really apply to it, so I don't know why you'd want to bother. And the HLR rocket launcher, of course this thing works in one down, it one shots everything, but you don't have enough ammo, and there's far too many spawns, far too much zerg rushing, so unless you have loads of ammo bags, then, you know, I don't see this thing being too useful, but of course you can bring it and you will kill a lot of stuff, you just need a good backup primary. And China Puff, I mean I'm using that, I shouldn't even have to explain it, this thing is blatantly overpowered. Melee weapons, um... I mean, you bring the kunai, the buzzer, or the brass knuckles. Just ignore the rest, they're not even worth talking about. Now, the reason it's eight is because with my current detection, I have seven. Which means that I am slightly under the frame to get maximum from basic. I need to be five. So, what happens is, since I am at eight or seven i lose one percent dodge now you could easily cut these eight points here and put them into something else like you know maybe you want jokers or something but for me honestly i think the one percent dodge chance is worth it i honestly don't know where else i'd spend these points something like bullseye doesn't work in this build because you don't really get many headshots because you're not really aiming for the head Again, jokers would be nice, but honestly, I can't see what is worth having you. Know, maybe you go for drill sergeant, or, you know, this is like the leeway. If you wanted to, like, cut the, the trash in this build, you get rid of this, you get rid of this, you get rid of this, and then you've got 10 points leeway. And then maybe, you maybe even get rid of crits, but I'll talk about that in a minute. So, second wind, basic, extra movement speed is good, you know, it's just to get you up there. 35% less likely to be targeted, you want that in a dodge build, you don't want to be taking all the bullets, and it was just to get me up higher, because this skill doesn't do anything. And low below basic, you may be wondering, it doesn't apply with grenade launchers, why would you take this? The thing about crits is, it applies to a lot more than people think it does. It applies to your melee weapon, and it applies to your throwable. So that is also incredibly useful, and it also cries. So it also applies to your crossbow, that means you can crit with the crossbow bolt. So instead of doing like 100 damage, you'll do like 500. And especially with a dozer, if you 
hit a dozer in the head and then crit, you'll basically one-shot the thing. Or you'll do like in crazy amounts of damage. So crits are actually fairly useful. But again, this is something that if you needed to get something else, say you had a big preference, you could get rid of this and you could, you know, put these points elsewhere. Fugitive, we ignore this because we don't have pistols and we ignore martial arts. None of this is helpful. Nine lives aced. I don't care what build you've got. Take ace this skill. It's four points and instead of getting one down, you get two downs. You need it. Just take it. Uh, Swan Song Ace because spamming grenades when you're in Swan Song and also crossbow bolts is extremely useful. Going invincibility mode, you can inspire people, fix the drill, you can do a lot of crazy things. Spamming grenades to just kill stuff. And also, if you are really bad and somehow run out of crossbow bolts, what you can do is in Swan Song you can spam bolts to the floor and then you can pick them all back up to replenish your ammo. Fain Death Aced, you'll go down a lot, this just gets you back up. And Messiah Aced, again something else to get you back up. This is focused on survival, you want to keep alive. But you also have the damage. The thing is you have the support support skills. You have the combat doctors. You don't need to take all of the med bag charges because you have stuff like Stockholm Syndrome. You have the shock and awe and you have the ability to clear our enemies. Now honestly, if I wanted to make a minor addition to this build, here's what I would do. I would probably look into the I would probably look into getting converts. But the thing is, convert to such an expensive point sink. You know, you could do this, but I couldn't get partners in crime aced. And that's a big deal because getting this, you get an extra 100% less damage. So, you know, it's kind of difficult and you don't even get the movement speed and health. The health isn't relevant, but the movement speed is. And does not stack with Joker damage reduction, but multiplies. So here's the thing. You probably could do this and you'd get away with it. But, honestly, I'm not sure which is better. I'm not sure if having the crit is better than having the jokers. I'm going to I'm gonna do a bit of experimenting, and I'll try out with this version of the build. But this is uh, the next version of the build that I'm going to try out. And I'll tell you guys how good this is. Uh, throwables. Let's see what we got here. Uh, HEF grenades, they don't do enough damage. They don't even one-shot anything, so ignore it. Playing cards, ignore. Frag grenades, reskin, ignore. Concussions, they are good because in one down, you know, sometimes most of the throwables won't kill anything. So if you can throw a throwable and stun a bunch of enemies and then run past them, that's extremely useful. Honestly, that'll do far more than any of the rest of these will. So concussion grenades, top tier. Ironically, community is one of the best. Molotovs, they are good. Not for the same reason that they used to be. The fire on them is bad. But they get to deny an area because if something walks through it, it gets stunned. But most importantly, fire damage has been buffed. It's now 100 a tick, as I've said many times. So even though the damage of the Molotov doesn't actually change, when they're burning, they'll take a lot of damage and it will be able to kill things. Three isn't really enough, but on some maps, locking down an area is vital and they are worth considering. Dynamite's the same as grenades, don't think about it. Shurikens, I've already spoke about why these are good. The poison damage in the game is insane right now, and you get loads of them, so just bring them. Javelins are worth bringing. I know they've been nerfed to about 3,000, 4,000 damage-ish, but they are still worth bringing. You one-shot everything, and you can, I think you can one-shot headshot a dozer with this if you hit them in the head. Maybe, maybe not, but you'll basically be able to kill a lot of things with these. Something to keep in mind, though, is that you don't have a lot of the javelins to spare. You only have three, and you need to pick them up, and the throw speed is relatively slow. Throwing knives are just bad. I mean, they're just a straight up worse version of the throwing axes, in my opinion. Their throw time is far too slow. You know, maybe there's a way to get around this. I heard there's like a bug where you can glitch the animation, but in general, they're bad. Uh, throwing axes, I wouldn't bring these either because they suffer the same issue as the daggers. They only deal 1100 damage, which is not enough to one shot a basic unit. So, Unless you're hitting everything in the head, these are completely worthless and not even worth considering. So honestly, again, out of all these, only three are available. And the problem is two of them, oh no, four are available and three are DLC. Molotovs are like kind of okay, but mostly you want to be looking at these three. Um, equipment. Sentry guns are worthless, don't even bring them. Mm, trip mines do one shot, but you don't get enough of them to be valid. 
So honestly, all you want to bring is doctor bags, ammo bags, and maybe first aid kits with uppers. But honestly, I think doctor bags and ammo bags are something you want to stick to here. The rest are just kind of worthless. Perk decks, um, crew chief, not worth talking about. Muscle, you know, maybe with panic, it's good. But the problem with having health regen is the fact that they do so much damage that if you get shot once in you, with your health pool, you're basically dead anyway. It doesn't even matter. So I think muscle isn't even worth really considering. Armorer is a good perk deck, but from my opinion, it's basically just a worse version of Anarchist. So if you can't afford Anarchist, then maybe you take this. The two seconds of invulnerability is very effective. Like, that will save your life, but you need to remember it's only two seconds. So maybe you can get armor to work, but the extra armor is nice. Extra armor is always better than extra health. Rogue is king because they're doing like 200 damage. They basically one shot your armor regardless of what perk deck you've got. You know, maybe you can tank a little bit with armor ICTV. But with Rogue, you can tank way more bullets than you ever could with armor. Granted, it is luck of the draw. But when you've got 55 base and 65 sprinting, you know, you've got a very good chance. And the... Uh, Weapon uh, piercing our enemy armor is very nice, but you don't need it because both those weapons automatically do that anyway Hitman, I don't know. I shouldn't even have to talk about this perk deck moving on crook It's Not worth having because honestly rogue. It's just worse than rogue It doesn't have enough armor so that fact that you can tank bullets and it doesn't have enough dodge to the point where it's really effective Honestly, it's kind of the worst of both this works on lower difficulties, but on something like one down, where you either want something with ridiculous amounts of armor or ridiculous amounts of dodge, having a hybrid just does not work, honestly. I would just skip this perk deck. Burglar, we don't talk about burglar. Infiltrator, nope. Don't even try it. Sociopath, nope. Gambler, nope. Grinder, nope. Yakuza, no. Ex-president, not really. Maniac, no. Anarchist, again, is king. It's a very good perk deck. The, especially if you combine this with a bit of dodge, you can have Anarchist and you can get like 10, 15 base dodge or something. And that's 25 when sprinting. You can have like 200 plus armor in a suit. But you need to keep in mind that the run, the regeneration is kind of a bit bad. But you do also get that two seconds vulnerability like armor. So again, you can game this to where you have dodge and then you also get 100% dodge for, 15, for two seconds every 15 seconds. You can think of it like that. Very good perk deck. Biker, it's bad. So that's me covering, you know, everything. And I'm going to talk about a few little niche things here and there. So I've covered the weapons. I've covered, you know, everything else. But generally in one down, you're going to want to make sure that you do have nine lives. Because nine lives is a key thing. Oh, they didn't even pick it. There you go. Nine lives. You want that. The extra down means so much. Then looking at everything else. Honestly, I'd say med bags are king. If you don't have multiple people running med bags and inspire, you're going to fail. As well as the weapons. The weapons mean so much. Honestly, if you're running around with a bad loadout, you just will not be able to beat one down. The enemies are far too spongy, and about 1-2% to of the weapon pool is usable, if that. The rest of it is just not worth using. And honestly, without DLC, I think it's very difficult to beat one down. They've kind of... Did a point where as i complained on day one they buffed the dlc weapons to accommodate the difficulty but didn't buff anything else and they kind of just increased the health numbers without really thinking about what impact that has on the game because it makes the game harder but not in the sense that the game's more difficult you've just kind of made the game more unfair which isn't the same as increasing the difficulty Honestly, the, the, what they've done is a very bad way, and I don't think we should ever promote this as a way of difficulty. Increasing the numbers is the laziest and worst way to make the game harder. Just because people are dying more does not mean the game is more difficult. It just means you've increased a lot of other factors that are just out of the player's control. So my final thoughts on one down are, you know, definitely bring dodge. Dodge is king on one down. Dodge or anarchist. And if you don't have DLC, take rogue. Just take rogue, get your max dodge up, and just run like hell. If you don't have DLC, I feel honestly really bad for you. Because overkill have kind of screwed you over here. But if you had to bring weapons, I have talked about what's good and what's not. But, you know, Akimbo Deagles with something like Trigger Happy, the, and that's literally it. That is the worst thing that I've, about this. 
oh, maybe, you know, the KSP light machine gun. But there's, like, literally two guns out of... Oh, and the M3OE, I guess. M3OE. But that's the worst thing. Literally, out of all the guns I've mentioned, only three are vanilla. And even with the vanilla, you won't have a lot of the utilities. Like, you won't have a grenade launcher. You won't have the kunai. So you have to resort to the brass knuckles. You won't have the shurikens. You have to resort to concussion grenades. It is such a DLC-driven meta. It is really disgusting, honestly, to see this. I mean, people have been cleaning about pay to win for a while, but you could beat Deathwish with vanilla guns, but one down, it's very difficult. And I know there is certain weapons, but it's much harder to do. So guys, if there's something I've missed off in this video or you guys need anything else for one down, feel free to message me in the comments and add my profile link in the description if you want to play with me. You know, I can help you guys out and do some one down heights. Anyway, my name is Jace, and I want to thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.